All right, y'all. I hope this light ain't too harsh out here, but I wanted to show y'all this. So I got some. These are Wasica, no Wasissa, um, Wasissa black mulberry cuttings. So I wanted to do an experiment. So we're gonna try to root half of them in water, and we're gonna try to root the other half in dirt. We're gonna see what results we get. Now, first of all, let me show y'all this. Whoever sent these, they did a really good job sending them because they took all the leaves off so that they do not dry out. They wrapped them in a moist paper towel. They wrapped the end that lets me know it's the bottom, but you can tell it's the bottom because y'all see the buds at the top. Buds grow up. They don't grow down. So I would have been able to tell anyway, but, um, you know, to keep down confusion. And the paper towel is moist, not ringing wet so this is kind of what you want to look for if you get cuttings from somebody to tell if they know usually what they're doing also can y'all see where that leaf was it's green there so you know that this is alive still you can always scratch the bark and tell but what we're going to do is so that we can get a comparable test okay we're going to take the two biggest ones which are these two on the end these are the two thickest and you see these where the buds are everywhere you see a bud so that's a node we're gonna put that one in water you want to at least have one node under water I'm gonna pour some of that water out you don't want it to be too too high but you want at least one node under water this one we're gonna put in dirt now we're gonna get these medium ones these medium thickness ones How many up? One, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're gonna have an odd number in one, which is fine. Um, let's do that one in water because it had a node way at the bottom. And let's do that one in water. This one in dirt. These two in dirt, and then we're gonna do two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to do two skinny ones in water. Okay, so the ones with the dirt. We're going to break these up. So we have six, right? We have six. So we're going to roughly, what we're going to do is we're going to do two different things. We're going to take, now I'm going to dip this in water a little bit to make this make this rooting hormone stick then I'm just gonna dab that in there so I got rooting hormone on the bottom and we're just gonna stab that down we're gonna do the same for this one rooting hormone tap off the excess stab that down dampen rooting hormone Cause these these were damp but we just want to make sure and stab that down so i pushed those all the way to the bottom now what we're going to do is we're going to take a knife and i always see people doing this on cuttings and i always wondered was it really necessary i'm gonna try to do this one-handed job wait 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 i think i done figured it out okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape. I be seeing people scrape and expose that green cambium layer. So now that I've exposed the cambium layer, I probably should have dampened that. But where the cambium is, it's moist. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. So then we're going to stab that in. And we're going to do the same thing for these other two. We're going to scrape those. And expose the cambium layer. Now, technically, where that node is, where that bud is, you should get roots to come out of there. But hey, that's supposed to increase your chances of roots coming out of there. I usually do not do that. I usually just do what I did earlier. And I usually just stab. Let me show y'all. I hope y'all can see. But if you can't see, y'all go to the mini numerous youtube videos showing y'all how to scrape this 
Um, this is kind of on the fly here because I just got these in the mail. And even though the sun is shining now, um, it's probably going to... Uh, and I'm going to just put this paper towel in here, not for any particular reason other than it will break down. And uh, it's moist and it'll kind of act like mulch, kind of. Um, so after I put these in this jar, like I was telling y'all before, get your, get your, get your bag, make your little dome there, make your little humidity dome. And then I think I got a bag out here in the yard somewhere. I know I got one on the porch, but. Oh, found it. I reuse this my my bag, y'all. Ding, ding, ding. I took this off of some other cuttings that I had. But like I said, y'all, you get way better results when you uh when you uh put a bag over it to keep it humid inside there. So I got some rainwater right here in this bucket and I'm just going to water this in. I do, there are holes in the bottom of that so that will and when it comes to your bag you want to make sure your bag is big enough to go over everything. And you want to be gentle as to not knock off all the buds also when you get cuttings y'all try to get cuttings with buds that are um the buds feel nice and firm if the buds feel mushy the they're probably halfway dead or i mean it may come back but i wouldn't have high hope for them so where i'm gonna put this is i'm gonna put this in a sunny spot but it's not gonna get like full full sun um it's going to actually be shaded just a little bit. Let me try to show y'all. So, Can y'all see over there where I put it just right inside that little kind of where there's dappled sunlight. I'm going to put them next to each other so that they get the same kind of sun exposure. I'm going to pull this weed. And it's probably going to go in my fertilizer bucket. But, um, yeah, and, and really, to be honest, just like these figs here, I did the same thing with these figs. I, did, I didn't even use rooting hormone on those. But when I did those figs, I think I had five cuttings, maybe six. Only two made it. And I'm going to be real with y'all. I didn't even use rooting hormone. I just stabbed them into the ground. Um, when it comes to trees, if you don't have many trees, if you're new to trees, um, my best recommendation is figs and mulberries. They are so hardy. You can get cuttings from them. Um, and as long as the wood isn't too old, they'll usually will take. Um, they're just really easy plants to do. Um, if you've never had a mulberry, I would suggest that you, you know, grow one. They taste delicious. Um, uh, usually very sweet they can be tart there are some varieties that are more tart than others but i prefer the more sweeter ones um but yeah figs and um mulberries you really can't hardly go wrong um with them as far as growing so yeah i think that's uh I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show y'all. So I'm going to keep y'all updated on how that experiment goes. And we're going to see how many of those actually take um, versus how many don't take. Uh, I also did some figs recently. And I just took the cuttings and put them in water. And um, after a week, they had little nodules on the bottom where the roots started growing. So if those mulberries start doing that, I'll show you what I'm talking about. That way you'll know if your figs are taken or not. But here lately I've been having more success with water. But I'm going to show you all the dirt versus water and we'll see how it turns out. All right. So till next time, see you guys later.